Hello, have you always wondered how to use the Mixer Brush tool in Photoshop or you usually have trouble finding where and how to use the Mixer Brush tool and the right amount of settings that you want to use for your images? This is a tutorial for you and in this tutorial, I'm going to be going in depth every single thing you need to know about using the Mixer Brush tool and how to apply it to your images in Photoshop. So without further ado, let's get started. And if at all, this is what I always wanted and looked for. Make sure that you hit the like button because you're going to be benefiting so so much from this tutorial. So make sure that you hit the like button on this video because YouTube is going to recommend this to many people experiencing the same issue when it comes to using the Mr. Brush tool for skin retouching in Photoshop. So let's get started. So right now this is the image that we have and I'm going to be using my action because I don't want to go in depth about creating all those frequent separation layers but I'll be explaining something as we proceed in this virtual so i'm just going to come right here to my actions and those interested in buying my actions you can purchase them by using the links in the description of this video so since this is a 16-bit image i'm just going to come and play my 16-bit action and this is a point when you have to determine the amount of textures that you want to remain with in your final image so take the radius all the way down and look for an area that has more or prominent textures than the rest of the skin so around this area, I have more textures. So start taking up the radius up to a point when you just start to close out on the textures in the image. So at around 7, that is when I'm starting to close out on the details. Just stop at that point when your details are just starting to get lost from the image. And hit OK. And the action is going to continue running. So in this case, we just want to focus more on the mixer brush tool. I'm just going to close this. So like I said, I want to go in depth about using the Mr. Brush tool. So you can see that my action has this empty layer and when using the Mr. Brush tool you can either retouch on this low frequency layer or you can as well retouch using this empty layer within the frequency separation action. So for purposes of being very nice and uniform, let me first of all go through the Mr. Brush tool itself. So I'll select the low frequency layer and after selecting it, I'm just going to come and right click and get the Mixer Brush tool. And if at all you are having an older version of Photoshop, you may find your Mixer Brush tool below here. So mine is right under the brushes. So right now you have to go through the settings. So for the settings, I prefer to use the hardness of 0% right here. And come to these general settings by clicking on this folder icon. So you left click on it and it's going to open up the brush settings so i prefer the spacing option to be checked and i prefer 25 percent and the hardness at zero and make sure you turn on smoothing and transfer is also selected so after doing that i'm just going to close that then we also have to come and make sure that clean brush is also selected and the option which says load the brush after each and every stroke is also not selected but you Come and make sure you select the option which says clean the brush after each and every stroke. Remember, as we're working on the skin area, we are dealing with a number of colors and we have a variety of color differences in the skin tone. So we don't want the brush to carry a previous color and paint it on a different color because those areas are going to be having different colors. So the most important, important emphasis is going to be more on the wetness and the flow because usually i leave the load at 75 and the mix at 90 and i think this is the default for the mixer brush tool but the most important emphasis is going to be on the weight and the flow itself so remember if at all the brush wetness is at 100 percent and i try painting you can see it drags color for a longer distance because the brush is very wet it is like more of getting a rug and the more wet the, the rug is the more it is going to wet a surface so the if at all the wetness and the flow are all the way up you can see that it drags color so 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 much at a longer distance but remember as we are retouching and mixing or blending the transitions within the skin we always want to 
have a minimal color spill within the skin tone so if at all the weight is all the way up if at all you want to use a weight that is so so high make sure the flow is all the way down so at around two so you can see that a weight of two is not going to be dragging so so much color or a weight of around 10 won't be dragging so so much color you can see that it is very minimal but if at all you leave everything at 100 percent this is what you're going to be having in both the wetness and flow then if at all you'd love your flow to be 100 percent make sure that the wetness or the weight of the brush is below 10 or at around 9 because in this way when you try dragging color you can see it is doing a less more effect of dragging color and spilling it all around the place so make sure you're using either a very low weight or even if at all the weight is all the way up make sure that the flow of your brush is all the way below 10 percent in order to have the same effect so usually when i'm using the mr brush tool i tend to love it to be less weight at around nine percent and i prefer a load of 75 percent a mix of 90 percent and a flow of 100 percent so after doing that i've now gone through the settings for using the mr brush tool so next thing is going to be how to apply it in the images so i'm just going to come to my history right here and i'm just going to undo the mixer brush that i had applied to the image so we are now done setting up the mixer brush tool and understanding how it works then before you can even apply the mixer brush tool always make sure that this option if at all you're using the low frequency layer make sure the option that says sample orders is not checked so make sure this option is not checked and i'm going to be showing you later on how to you to do that so like i said most of you tend to have issues using the mr brush tool so if i told you using the mr brush tool and it show it is showing that this kind of plus icon make sure to press the caps lock key and in order to decrease or increase on the size of the mr brush tool as you're using it on the images make sure you use the open and close brackets on the keyboard to decrease or increase on the size of the mr brush tool then how to apply it let me first of all use this empty layer for reference so this is purposes of showing you how to use or know where to blend and mix so i'm just going to be using this and i'm just going to come don't mind i'm just going to get a brush tool so this is purposes of just demonstrating for you so you can see that when we are having this image you can see we have areas that have all the brightest areas that have highlights in this image you can see these areas that have those brightest points in the image then we have other areas i'm just going to use another color right here so we have other areas that have mid-tones and for these areas we have the areas that are closest to the highlights you can see that we have those kind of mid-tones in those areas then we have the areas that are closest to the highlights are usually the mid-tone areas then we also have uh, the darkest areas for the image so for the darkest areas you can start we have these as our darkest areas in this case so you can see we have these dark areas so as you're using the missile brush tool we always have to take into consideration that our brush is moving and following and we are trying to mix every individual color the way light is falling on it so that area has to be blended alone and you try to mix and make sure that area is in harmony so what i'm going to do i'm just going to come i'm just going to delete this layer and create another layer like we had initially before so how to use the mr brush tool you can see in the other case you can see that this forehead area is moving in this kind of direction you can see it is moving in this kind of direction you can see that the forehead area is moving in this kind of direction so as you're using the mr brush tool always and always make sure to you move your 
mixer brush tool in that kind of direction and when it comes to this kind of shape right here you can see that it is moving in this kind of triangular shape you can see how it is moving so always make sure the strokes that you're applying in this area are moving in this kind of direction like this like this and like this and in this way you can notice that you're going to be retaining the original shape of your model or the subject that you're trying to retouch using the mr brush tool so when it comes to the nose area you can see it is moving in this kind of up down kind of direction and when it comes right here it moves to this direction so always make sure that you move your brush strokes in that kind of direction as you're working on the images then you can see that on the chin area you can't move your mr brush tool in an up down kind of direction so you can see when it comes to the chin area the area is moving in this kind of direction so you have to move your mixer brush tool in this kind of direction in order to retain the original shape in that area so that is how you have to always move the mixer brush tool then when it comes to where these areas are transitioning from the for example from the highlights to the midtones we have this middle area after mixing the highlights alone and also mixing the midtones alone this area also has to be mixed this middle area has to be mixed also so that you can have a nice and smooth blend but always when using the mixer brush tool don't move color from the highlights to the shadows make sure you mix those areas alone and harmonize them and mix the shadows or midtones alone and where they are just transitioning that border just come and simply blend that border so that they can really merge in quite well so that is how you can use the mr brush tool so right now we are going into the application of using the mr brush tool onto the image so i'm just going to come and create that layer once again so like i said there are two major techniques that you can use when using the mr brush tool one you can re retouch on a low frequency layer by this when you're retouching on the low frequency layer it means i'm just going to come and select the mr brush tool once again remember you set it once and the settings are always going to be remaining within your photoshop so as you're working on the low frequency layer, always make sure the sample alias is not checked because this layer already contains information or color within it so the best way to use the mr brush tool always turn off the high frequency layer so that you can only look at the colors in the image so make sure you turn this off because sometimes the textures may be a little bit confusing so make sure you select the low frequency layer and with the mr brush tool selected you have to keep on playing around with different sizes of the mr brush tool so if at all you want to retouch a given area for example this shadow area just come and make sure it is slightly the shape of that area and just come and move it like i said in the direction of that shape you can see i'm following this kind of shape to retain the original facial shape of our model and you can see i'm just going to come to the highlight and i'm just going to mix it in this kind of direction and in this way i'm going to be retaining the original shape of the model's face you can see that this is working and the trick about turning off the texture layer is the more plastic the image is getting the better the retouched image make sure there is no bumpiness as you're using this technique so like i said where, where it is transitioning from for example the highlights to emittance just come and blend that border so that these two colors can really merge into each other and be really seamless so when you turn on the textures in the image you can see the before and the after you can see it is very nice and seamless and the original shape has been maintained in the model's face so when it comes to the nose area like i said the strokes have to be moving in this up down kind of direction in order to retain the original shape of the model's face just move it in that direction and this other side move it in um, an up down kind of direction to retain the original shape of the model's face so when you turn this back on you can see we have as well maintained the, origi the originality in the nose of the model so this is for people that use the low frequency layer for retouching then if at all you want to use an empty layer within my frequency separation action so remember this empty layer comes along with my frequency separation action so 
if at all you'd love to use this empty layer just come and make sure you turn off the texture layer and when you turn it off simply come and turn on the sample all layers remember we are now working on a layer that doesn't have information so when you sample all all layers and you have turned off the textures it means this layer has no option but also it is going to copy information from the low frequency layer so as you're working on it you can as well get the mixer brush tool and with it selected you can now come and paint just like that and you can see it also has the same effect so you can see i'm moving my brush strokes in the way this area is uh, shaped in this case so you can see it works the same way but the principles are basically the same but what is different is we turned off the textures because when you turn on the textures and you try painting it's going to look a little bit awkward so make sure you turn off the textures so that this empty layer can only sample colors and you work with the colors from the low frequency layer so if i told them to turn this off you can see it is only creating those colors and merging them and creating that nice and retouched image so if at all and to turn on the textures and i turn on and off the overall frequency separation action or group you can see it is more likely the same way or technique so basically this is how to use the mr brush tool and if at all you have found this video really helpful don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating